Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. I want to show you the uh, TV Games Plug and Play Classic Arcade Pinball. It's a plug and play game. Plugs into your TV directly. Runs off four double A's. It's a little manual plunger for actually launching the virtual uh, pinball games. That's right, it's a pinball um, plug and play unit. There's uh, three different games. The Paleolithic, Paleolithic Pete is what we're going to start with. Caveman based uh, cartoony pinball game. These are actually quite fun. You launch a game with that uh, plunger as I showed you in the beginning there. And it's pretty fast action. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing amazing. I've played better um, video pinball games than before. Uh, I think I paid like $10 for this or something like that. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, just plug it in, play three pinball games, a couple different modes. I'm just choosing the arcade mode for each of them. But, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, that's kind of neat. Reminds me a little bit of a game called uh, Devil's Crutch, Crush or Alien Crush on the old um, Turbo Graphics. Proof that I suck. Suck at it once in a while, you get on a little bit of a. You get on a roll, being able to hit that certain ramp or whatever, sort of like in the zone. Doesn't matter how good or how bad you are, it just sort of happens once in a while. figured out how to enter my initials in here very well. I got like was able to go to the first one, got up to C. I wanted to do cat or catfish, but uh, managed to just get to C in and then it was too bad, so sad. Then mash around with the menu button here trying to get back to the original menu. Being not so not so smart there it took me a few uh, attempts but I got there. Let's try the next game. Star Strike. So sci-fi based pinball game. Scan, put a little plunger at the bottom there, launches the ball. Uh, 
flippers at the top and bottom of the sources to be a theme on these games. This one's actually a fan, it's kind of fun, kind of easy to get into. So there's a little target, a little yellow target right above there. You can hear, uh, change that up. It's the flipper, the flipper's the left flipper, but you can see it reacting. Uh, let's shut up and let you watch the game. Pace. I believe it's like 16 bit, probably. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same hardware that all the, the Nintendo 8 bit uh, fake systems are, but uh, it seems a little bit better color or more detail than most of those systems seem to be to me. Uh, sounds alright, nothing crazy. Uh, it's fun. I've, played, I've said it already, I've played better pinball games, but i played a lot worse. It's kind of a decent design to the tables. I don't know if these come from another game. Let me know if you know. Fun, pretty straightforward, basic video pinball. Go to the next one here. Once I learn how to use uh, to navigate the menus, I can only have it right now. here as I wallow around and no no yeah we got skate scene pinball this skateboard theme pinball game this is my least favorite of the three but it's still kind of fun you know, they're, so they're pretty well designed they uh, they're fast it's pinball it's half decent pinball if you find one of these units for like 10 bucks or something like that, or less, maybe five, couple bucks at a flea market, who knows? It's worth picking up. I mean, it looks cool. And I don't know how often you're going to plug it in, but if it's just something you need to add to your collection, I say go ahead and buy it. I happen to be a pinball fan, and I don't have room for a pinball machine, so these little things are kind of, you know, kind of a little, little cachet in my collection. 
I'm not one of these purists either that freak out because the little plug and play aren't, you know, isn't as good as the actual arcade version. Everyone, these are video pinball anyways, but even when it comes to the arcade uh, reproductions, I don't really care too much. It's just for fun. at this one. Anyways, that was uh, Classic Arcade Pinball from TV Games Plug and Play Game. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it kind of blathered there, but have yourself a great night and thanks for stopping by.